growth was it in any in any industry which is uh, going to you know change uh, the way we think. Uh, thereafter, it moves on the, 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 uh, the from the writing requirements. It moves on to describing it in more detail because the engineers don't like flowery language. They need very precise uh, instructions. So you have to change the style of to change the style of writing, change the style of communication into something that uh, is more um, easy to put down into mathematical equations and um, uh, you know turn it into software flowcharts and stuff like that. So it changes color to a little more uh, technically precise. Somewhere down the line, changes a little into a little more legalistic language because uh, you are probably getting into a contract with some customer. You need funding. So the style of the language and at each stage, if you don't do it right, you just don't progress to the next stage. At each stage, if you notice, I'm not talking about what maths I know. I'm not talking about what physics I know. I'm talking about being able to sell an idea, how the idea is going to be relevant, and in different forms of language, you're, you're uh, putting it across. Uh, when you get down to building the aircraft, then of course it boils down to pretty much, uh, you know, scientific, very, very, very structured uh, language. But even there, precision in the language is something that, that is really, really uh, important. Precision in your communications. I mean, when you mean resolution, you mean resolution, not accuracy. The, the, you have to understand the exact words, and here I think I, I must thank my, uh, you know, my English teacher in uh, Bishop School. He was an old English gentleman, and uh, I don't know whether he was supremely lazy or uh, you know, really, really gifted because all he, all he did, he never taught us any grammar. I did not know any formal grammar. I don't think I know any formal grammar uh, even right now. Uh, all he did was he used to enter the class every day. And he would write either a topic, or he would he would keep throwing curveballs at us. So one day he would uh, just write the first three words of what you had to write, the essay that you had to write. Uh, the more difficult ones were where he wrote the beginning and he wrote the end, and uh, you had to fill in the beginning, in the middle. And God help you if you used any uh, cliches. But that's where I learned the word cliche because we used to come back with all the red marks on it. Cliche, cliche, cliche. <laughs> uh, I mean, the thing that he uh, drove home was whatever expression you. Did, must, you must understand the expression in its in its entirety, in its original context. I think I used the word flying colors or something like that. Something, uh, it was a big, big, dark red uh, underline. So, uh, from that point of view, uh, I think what you have uh, done in your book of uh, trying to understand a concept and put it into the book is really, really important. They are saying that you must uh, write or speak only 10% of what you know about a, about a subject. And that's something that you do. Not really well to uh, to stick by.